Former Centennial High School standout Sam Thomas has officially declared for the WNBA draft. Sports reporter Tina Wynn joins us live in studio to share more on her decision. Tina, what did she say? Yeah, Paulina and Abel, from four state championships at Centennial High School to a legendary career at the University of Arizona, Sam Thomas is ready to take her basketball career to the next level. Just to hear them say, like, we believe in you, we believe that you can make it. Sam Thomas isn't done yet. The former Centennial High standout has officially put her name in the hat for the 2022 WNBA draft. I knew that I wanted to play basketball at the next level, whether that had to be overseas, WNBA or both. And so um, after my um, the end of the season, actually, um, I found out when the draft was and then all I had to do was fill out like one little form and then I was good to go. From capturing four state titles to a storied career at Arizona, Thomas is never afraid to pave the way. I know there hasn't been a lot of draft picks, but obviously me and Ray, who are also who's also in the draft, uh, hopefully we can represent Vegas well. So very excited and just showing young Vegas girls that you can do it no matter what, no matter what high school you go to, what college you go to, like as long as you chase your dreams, you can do it. Thomas says she hopes her journey will inspire the next generation of Hoopers in Southern Nevada. Just have no limit to your dream and be uncomfortable being in, be comfortable being in uncomfortable situations. I think that's what really helped me, whether it's, you know, going to college camps or talking to college coaches, talking to AAU coaches, just Make sure you know what you want and don't let others persuade you or make you go a certain way. Really know what you want and chase after those dreams. And speaking of Centennial High School, the Bulldogs face Sidwell Friends in the state champions invitational in Tampa, Florida earlier today. Centennial went on to drop the semifinal game. 63 to 30 was the final score. Nonetheless, great run by the Bulldogs this season. They've certainly got a lot to be proud of. WNBA draft will take place on Monday, April 11th in New York City. Las Vegas has two local products hoping to hear their names get called. Ray Burrell and Sam Thomas, of course, will be sure to keep you updated on where they land. Paulina and Abel. Tina, thank you. The healthcare workforce is slowly returning back to pre-pandemic levels. Now that's according to a study published Friday in the journal Jamal Health Forum. Researchers compared turnover rates between April through December 2020 and January through October 2021. They found that rates peaked in the first part of the pandemic, but largely recovered in the second. About 1.5 million workers lost their jobs when hospitals postponed elective surgeries and clinics closed during the early stages of the pandemic. Researchers say more healthcare workers with young children also left the workforce. Now on to that historic moment in Washington and the country, the Senate voting to confirm Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson as the first black woman to the Supreme Court. And President Joe Biden, along with Vice President Kamala Harris, leading the celebrations today. I've been looking forward to for a while to introduce you the next Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court, the Honorable Ketanji Brown Jackson. And Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson shattering the glass ceiling, becoming the first black woman in our nation's history to be elevated to the Supreme Court. Throughout Jackson's lengthy and contentious public hearings, several Republican senators attempted to paint her as soft on crime. Judge Jocks Jackson talked about this latest honor for her. It has taken 232 years and 115 prior appointments for a black woman to be selected to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. But we've made it. Now Judge Jackson won't be elevated to Justice Jackson until her mentor, Stephen Breyer, officially retires from the court this summer. Big congratulations to her. And local businesses owner Sharla Mollett, who works in the Arts District, is upset that her customers will soon have to pay to park if they want to shop at her store. Now this comes as the city of Las Vegas revealed their plan to install parking meters throughout the Arts District at the end of the month. Traffic anchor Zora Asbury spoke with some business owners in the area. And some are okay with these changes, while others are simply not happy. Parking could soon be a problem for people going to the Arts District. The city is set to install parking meters by the end of this month and 64 meters will be installed in total. Currently, the Arts District has parking on the street that is free as well as parking near restaurants and businesses that is public. We spoke with a few business owners in the Arts District. Sharla Mallet is a local antique store owner and she says adding these meters is going to make it difficult for her business. I spent 15 minutes circling even the, the alley 
and I couldn't find one space for 15 minutes. And I thought to myself, how are customers going to be able to even park and get out? Geo Mitchell, who works at Waves in the Arts District, says the new parking meters aren't really going to affect his business. Nah, it's not going to be harder for us to park. It's just Meter Maze is going to be mad at us. That's it. It's not going to affect anything. Just people are not going to pay for it. That's how I feel. The area is known to get crowded, especially during first Fridays and on weekends. The parking plan was discussed in this week's city council meeting that included plans to add additional parking structures, parking lots, on street meters, subsidized employee and resident parking, as well as security escorts. Now the on street meters will cost $2 per hour with a four hour limit along these pink areas. Now parking along the areas that are shaded in blue or green will be a little cheaper, a dollar an hour with the option for a $10 monthly pass. Now the areas that you see shaded in yellow. The options there, you can also buy a $10 monthly parking pass, but the rates will vary, so it's important to make sure to stay tuned to 13 Action News for all the very latest on the Arts District and their parking meters. Reporting in studios, Zora Asbury, back to you. Coming up live at 630, making a difference with housing in the Valley. How much money is going toward the new initiative in the state? Plus, slapping Will Smith with a ban. More on the decision from the Academy to keep the actor from the Oscars for multiple years. Stay with us. Welcome back. A step in the right direction when it comes to housing for the Silver State. A panel of Nevada lawmakers gave their stamp of approval, putting $250 million in federal money towards a new housing initiative. The Home Means Nevada program was proposed by Governor Steve Sisolak. The governor's office says that the plan aims to help lower the cost of housing by boosting the construction of affordable houses and home ownership opportunities. It would also help seniors re uh, retrofit their homes for a lower cost and improve the pro uh, property. The money will be split into four categories, multifamily development, multifamily preservation, land acquisition, and new development rehabilitation for home ownership. As prices rise for nearly everything, American families are falling deeper into debt. A new report by the Federal Reserve shows that consumer credit spiked by nearly $42 billion in February. That puts it at a record high of $4.5 trillion. From credit cards to car loans, the average family now owes over $155,000. Experts say it's not clear if people are actually buying more things or if they're just paying more for items that get more expensive. Coming up, banned from, the, from attending the Oscars, the decision made during a meeting after the infamous slap at the awards show. Plus, a new ace up the sleeve. How the Las, how, who the Las Vegas Aces just hired to take over as general manager of the team. Danny. Our warming trend peaks tomorrow with highs back to the 90s, but after that, our temperatures take a nosedive. We're talking highs in the 60s by next Tuesday. I'll let you know what happens between now and then after the break. Welcome back. We're turning now to the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences meeting today. They have now banned for 10 years Best Actor winner Will Smith after he slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. Now,